What's up guys, it's Brad from Wet Architect. In this video, I thought I'd just share a quick tip on how you can use the build modifier inside of Blender in order to create a nice demonstration of your models being built, or essentially just use this modifier in a creative animation. I used the build modifier in our recently uploaded destruction breakdown video, where I show how the house is being built with all of its internal elements. And it's a really nice modifier to use when you don't want to hand animate things appearing as it just kind of automates the process for you. So anyways, guys, let's get started. Before I show you guys a step-by-step breakdown of the build modifier. I want to show you a quick example of how I used it here, kind of the behind the scenes of this process. So this is our house being built here. I've put it on a little turntable and I've applied several different build modifiers occurring at different times to reveal different portions of this house here. So as you can see, if I click on say uh, the cinder block exterior of this house and I go to the modifier tab, you can see that I have a build modifier applied here. On this specific element of the house, I've started the build modifier at frame 50 with this parameter right here. And then I've made the length of time in which the cinder block exterior will be built 150 frames. So what that means is from frame 50 all the way to frame 200, this cinder block exterior will be built. And there are some other things we can do here as well. We can reverse the whole process so it will be deconstructed over the course of those 150 frames. And then we can also randomize the faces in which it's being built. So as you can see here, if we just play through our scene, you'll notice that before frame 50, even though some other elements are being built, the actual cinder block exterior starts at frame 50 here. You can see it kind of being built face by face here. So how I've done this specific shot is each different element depending on if it was an internal element versus an exterior element of the house is being constructed at a different time in our timeline. So as you can see here, the wall planks of our house that is a little bit more of an internal element starting at frame 15 and going for 125 frames. So it'll be constructed a bit earlier compared to the exterior parts of our house. So same thing with this kind of internal beam structure. I've actually started the build modifier for this element at frame one and then only had it going for 105 frames. So it's being built fairly quickly. Um, that's how I created this specific shot um, with the build modifier. And now let me show you guys a little bit more in-depth step-by-step way to apply this modifier. So I'll go ahead and just create a new Blender project here. And I'm actually going to apply the build modifier to one of our City Builder 3D add-on assets. So I'll just go to our City Builder tab and I might just use some of our industrial assets, maybe the nuclear power plants, cool little asset to play around with. So go ahead and click on that. And we also want the nuclear cooling tower, which is somewhere, here we go. So now we have some cool assets to play around with. I'll scale this guy down a little bit just so it doesn't dwarf our control center. So now we have this cool uh, nuclear power plant asset. And I'm actually going to combine the cooling tower with the uh, control center here, just kind of join them together so we can apply one build modifier to both of them, something like this. And now I'll go back to solid view here and let's apply the modifier. So I'll just go here to our modifier properties tab, then I'll click on add modifier and go here to our build modifier. Let's go ahead and add that. And by default, the building process is going to start at frame one and it's going to occur for 100 frames. And you can also randomize it here, which I'll show in a second. But if we just kind of scroll through our timeline here, you'll notice that our nuclear power plant is being built over the course of 100 frames. So a uh, pretty cool little build modifier there. However, you can kind of notice that in this specific case, different parts of our nuclear power plant aren't being built in a very procedural way. It's just kind of randomly selecting faces here. And it's actually not randomly selecting faces. Essentially, how the build modifier works is it selects the faces of this model that were built first and then starts building those in order. Now, sometimes this works really nicely. However, for this specific example, I'd like for there to be a little bit more of a uh, kind of procedural way of going about things. So maybe I want to start from the cursor moving outward. So it's actually being built in a little bit more of a standard way. So I'll show you what I mean here. If I just go to object mode with our nuclear power plant selected, first we want to go to our face select mode because this process won't work if we don't apply it to the faces. So I'll just select all of our faces here and then I want to go to mesh and then sort elements. And here we can choose the order in which the faces are being built. So we can build the object based on the distance it is from our current view with the view Z axis button here. We could build the object from right to left or left to right with this view axis button. So for example, if we select this, and then go back to object mode and scroll through here. You can see it's going from left to right. 
which is kind of a cool way for something to be built. Makes a little bit more sense. Or we could actually, if we want it to be built from left to right, we could go mesh, sort elements, and then reverse that process. So we apply this and then reverse it uh, to go the other direction. Or what I want to do in this specific case is use the cursor distance. So for example, our cursor is right here by the base of the building. We can have the elements being built from the cursor outward. So um, I might just select our cursor a little bit closer to the center of our asset here and then click on mesh sort elements cursor distance and then go back to object mode and you can see that if we scroll through our timeline here the elements of our nuclear power plant that are being built start at the cursor and then slowly work their way outwards until at frame 100 we have our complete asset that has been built so this is the general process here guys of course you can change the start frame to say frame 30 or something and the building process won't start until frame 30 so it's pretty intuitive once you start playing around with it. Then you can change the number of frames it takes for the object to be built. So if you want it to be built really fast, just bring it down to like, you know, 30 or something. So from frame 30 to frame 60, all the faces of this object will be built. And you can also randomize the whole process with this button right here. And you can see that it's just selecting random faces and building them first, which can also be a cool effect. However, I kind of prefer not selecting this for the most part if I want to make a cool uh, building animation. But uh, yeah, that is the general process here, guys. That is how you can use the build modifier to create some nice breakdown shots or to simply just add another creative artistic choice to your project. Anyways, guys, that is it for this quick tip video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to see next on the channel. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects content, and I'll see you next time.